Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a zone doubling. As the name says, zone doubling allows you to connect uh, two zones or two devices on one physical zone. So you can have two motion detectors or uh, two door contacts or one door contact and one motion, uh, whatever you like. So it saves you uh, having to put a zone expander. So a uh, zone like in a in a panel like the SP6000, uh, zone one becomes zone one and zone nine, and zone two becomes zone two and zone ten and so forth. Uh, if you have a five panel zone, uh, you would have zone one would be zone one and zone six and so forth. Uh, so let's start with the uh, manual to see how um, how the manual describes how to wire it. Uh, so you can get a visual idea of how how we're going to do this. Uh, so you see here, this is my uh, SP slash MG um, manual, um, the uh, programming manual. So it's on page uh, 59. Um, you see here, uh, it's the advanced technology zone connections. Uh, here it shows your physical zone. This is the input. So let's say this is... Z1 and this is your common and then you can wire two devices um, through them uh, so uh, this is let's say this is your door contacts and this is in my case I'm going to be uh, using uh, motion detectors so you put one kilo ohm around one of the uh, the zones and 2.2 kilo ohm uh, around the other zones. Uh, it is very important that you follow those values, otherwise you might end up with uh, false alarms. Um, and, uh, as you can see, because we're doubling the zones, so it's uh, it's, go it's going to be a little bit messy. Uh, so you have to, because you're putting twice the number of wires uh, in your panel, so that's why your wires have to be uh, clean. Let's go to my uh, my camera. I'm going to show you uh, first, so this is my my um, multimeter and it's better to use the one that came with the panel so make sure because uh, each panel, each manufacturer might, might give, give you different value resistors so, so I'm going to um, actually measure it physically rather than reading it uh, so you see it's uh, exactly 2.2 um, so I'm going to show you how to wire it so I apologize the camera is too zoomed in but there's not much I can do about that so here is my my two resistors the 1k and the 2.2 so I'm gonna twist them together like this I have to keep looking at this uh, diagram look only at the, at the resistors forget about the uh, forget about the uh, contacts for now so we're going to see the 1K, one side goes to the uh, zone input, the other side goes to the 2.2K, which is, uh, the 2.2K is here. So this, this one here is the one in the middle here. Uh, the other side of the 2.2K goes to the common. Skipped, so I skipped one common just to, to make it easier for you to see. So you see here, one side of the uh, one side of the 1k goes to the to z1 and the other side uh, goes to c to common so any common they are all the same and and uh, you can do the same thing for zone 2 zone 3 and so forth so i have two motion detectors you see here on the motions i have uh, i have labeled them green and yellow so i am i'm able to follow which is which so i'm going to take the the yellow and use as zone one this is my yellow okay so i'm going to take those are the two wires for for uh, my motion detector that is zone one okay <clears throat> so one side again it doesn't matter which one but one side connects to the where the K1 where the, where the 1K is, uh, and it's also connected to zone one. 
So I'll take I'll take this and put it in zone one. Okay, and the other side of of that yellow, the 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 other side I will leave for now because it has to connect here. So we leave this for now, and then now we uh, we take we take the uh, the second zone, which is the green, the one with the green here. Uh, the second um, motion uh, connects to the. 2.2k and the common. So this is my second one. Again, I can pick up any one of the two wires. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm connect. I'm gonna connect it to common. So now <clears throat> my two motions. Uh, each one of them has uh, one wire that is that hasn't been connected yet. So on the diagram here. <clears throat> you see the two motions are connected to each other and they are connected uh, to the 1K and the 2K. So you take those two, you can tie them together or uh, just for the, uh, for the purpose of the, uh, the demo, uh, I'm going to use this cable here so you can, you're able to follow. So those should be tied together like this and then they are tied together and tied to the two resistors. So you see here my the two resistors that I that I pigtailed. So this becomes your connection here. It, it's as so simple it as that when it comes to uh, physically wiring the um, the zones. So again that. That, that zone, as you can see here, we're just dealing with wires. So on the other side, that zone could be a door contact, it could be, um, it could be a motion detector, it could be anything. Um, so now that we uh, wired the panel, we can go into Babyware and see how to program it. So I'm going to connect to my panel. Of course, because we're doubling the zones, so now we have more than uh, more than ten zones. So it is advisable to to actually use a um, a keypad uh, like like this, like a, a thirty-two zone keypad. So so at, you can you're able to to see your um, your zones. So clock trouble, let's get rid of that. <clears throat> okay, so now we, we go to properties, uh, zones, and then you see here uh, zone doubling. So you'll see here, once I click zone doubling, you're going to see eight other zones because I, ha I have um, an eight panel zone so now it's doubled so it goes up to 16 if you uncheck this it automatically takes them off so I'm gonna put them back um, don't worry about this so yeah so uh, I'm going to enable this one I'm gonna, going to enable it to uh, make it and zone 9 because this is my second zone I will also put it to uh, instant, just for the purpose. You can, normally you put it on on follow, but uh, so send. So now I have two zones. It still detects my hand, so. If I cover this, <clears throat> yeah, so you see how it goes. And uh, let's do a basic troubleshooting tip. 
Um, so right now, as we said, uh, the 1K uh, is connected towards the zone and the 2.2K is connected towards the common. So what happens if we switch those resistors over? So we have the, uh, the 2.2K towards the zone and the 1K towards the common. Let's see what, what is going to happen. So right now, before, we, before I change anything, uh, th these are my, my zones. So you see, one, this one is zone one. So you see zone one came first and then zone nine. So let's see uh, what happens when I switch them over. So we're gonna look at the panel here. So you see, you see the, the green is on the left and the other one is on the right. So I'm going to do it like this. So the 2.2K is on the left towards the zone. I've switched them. So now the 2.2K is here connected to the zone and the 1, 1K is connected on the right to the common. So let's look at the uh, motion detectors and uh, see what, what happened because of this switch. So um, try to trigger them. So you see this one, this one was zone one. So now it's zone nine. This one was zone nine, now it became zone one. So if you choose um, if you to, to use zone doubling, you have to be careful how you wire uh, your resistors. Otherwise, the zones will be mixed up and you might have a hard time uh, troubleshooting. So you, you see uh, always the 1K towards the zone. So now, now that we've done this, I'm going to put it back so we can continue our tutorial. So now the question that... Um, throws itself at us is what happens if I'm not using all zones so I may be using um, I may be, I may have doubled let's say seven zones but zone eight for example um, only has one zone and not two so what do I do how do I wire it in this case so let's see what happens um, so I'm going to go to properties zones and then I'm going to go to zone 8. I, I will set it to instant. Again, uh, for, the zone, uh, for the zone type, you normally set it as you usually do. I'm just using instant just, uh, just for the purpose of the test. But you program it as usual, no difference there. So I have zone 8 and 16 enabled. And then I will click. So of course, um, if I'm not using zone 16, I would disable it. But I just want to show you what happens uh, when I when I wire it. So now I have the two zones are open because there's nothing on them. So I will wire it by itself between zone 8 and, uh, and the common. Okay, and then I have this... Um, this wire here, I will jumper. I will jumper the zone. So you see, zone 16 closed. If I remove the jumper, zone 16 opens. Zone 16 opens. So uh, let's replace this. Uh, let's replace the 2.2k with the 1k. Again, normally you wouldn't do that. I'm just. Uh, showing you what would happen. So now I have the 1K between, uh, between zone 8 and the common. So you see zone 8 open because the zone is normally closed. So if I, if I put my jumper here, zone 8 and common, zone 8 closes. I remove zone 8, uh, I remove the 
a jumper, zone eight opens, close, open, close. So you see it works. However, uh, I noticed that when I put the 2.2 K here, it is not consistent. So if you are going to wire only one zone, uh, I would just put uh, wire the zone and uh, put uh, um, put a 1k across of it across it. So between let's say it's zone eight, so be between common and zone eight, you put a 1k and you put your zone in parallel. And then you would you would have zone 16 disabled. So normally if you're not if you're not using zone 16, it should be like this. So I'm using zone 8, but I'm not using zone 16. So this is how I would wire it. Uh, feel free to tell me if you disagree with me. But again, I, it's uh, zone doubling is not something that I, I normally use. In fact, I've never seen it in the field. Uh, however, someone asked me about it, and I... Um, I had some time to experiment and uh, I made this video for you. So I hope you find it useful and uh, uh, please consider uh, clicking like and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.